All right, can I have you start by uh, say and spell your name and give me your title, please? Johnny O'Brien, J-O-H-N-N-Y-O-B-R-I-E-N. I'm the Command Sergeant Major for Illinois National Guard's Recruiting Retention Battalion. Okay, so uh, right now with the, with the social distancing and the restrictions and some high schools or all the high schools in Illinois uh, being uh, uh, closed at this point, I'm sure that has created some challenges and makes it difficult for, uh, for recruiters to do their job. How, what are those challenges? And how are you managing that? Well, the biggest challenge is we're not able to get out and and offer the opportunity to as many people just based on the, you know, the schools being closed. Uh, the the COVID nineteen has a lot of people with the, their health and, and physical safety, uh, you know, on their mind. So that way, we're practicing everything we can with the social distancing. You know, our um, appointments are kind of limited. You know, at this point, so we're conducting a lot of our appointments through FaceTime or the technology that we have right now. Uh, to do that. It's just making it a little more challenging to to reach more people. I mean, we're out there, we're, we're trying to get it done, you know, the best we can, though. So our opportunity to be out there is limited, but if somebody is interested and wants to know more, how can they how can they get in contact with a recruiter and, and maintain those safe physical distances? Well, the easiest way is uh, either through nationalguard.com or through any of the social media platforms. We have the Illinois National Guard as well as the Illinois National Guard Recruiting Retention Battalion on Facebook. So any of those, uh, we can get linked up with uh, the local National Guard recruiter. And then as far as um, uh, once there's been a conversation and, and somebody decides they're interested, there's obviously has to be a face-to-face -face at some point. There's the the MEPS process and shipping to basic training. How is that being affected or how will that go forward? Well, once we get to that point, you know, after, you know, whether it be through a FaceTime or, or whatever, uh, we do have to meet up so we can get the appropriate signatures to prepare somebody to, to continue the process. And when they continue the process, they have to go to the military entrance processing station. And each of the MEPs that we use, we use three, three MEPs, Chicago, St. Louis, and Des Moines. Every MEPs has uh, the, the procedures in place, you know, the proper screening by medical professionals before they can even be allowed into the building. You know, they do have limitations, no visitors are allowed, so unfortunately right now if somebody would join, the, you know, their parents would not be able to uh, to go watch them, you know, swear in. But to enlist, I mean, they're, they're screening everybody properly, and then for those shipping out to basic training, it's the same process. They have to go back up through MEPS, get screened by the medical professionals before they are cleared to uh, ship off to their training site, and at the training sites they're doing the same screening process. Okay, let's uh, let's talk a little bit about a little bit about the Illinois National Guard mission. Uh, now, I, in the last couple of days, uh, the governor has activated a group of airmen and a group of soldiers from the Illinois National Guard uh, to perform state active duty in, in various functions. Talk a little bit about state active duty as it relates to being a, a soldier in the Illinois Army National Guard. The state active duty is a is a great chance for us to showcase what we're really here for. You know, having a dual mission, the federal mission and the state mission, it, it's not that often that we get to go out and show the local communities, you know, what we're really here for. So it, it, it's great to be able to have our soldiers and airmen um, help their neighbors, help their community. You know, people take pride in it. But also in times like this, a lot of the community wants to step forward and do the same. So. Um, they want to help their neighbors, help the community, and, and kind of help the greater good in times like this. Great. So what are, what are some military jobs available to, to anyone who may be interested in, in joining the Guard or who may want to know more about them? What are the top jobs? We've got jobs throughout the state. You know, some of our top jobs that we're, we're looking at now, we have, you know, your infantry soldiers, your field artillery. We've got, you know, communications jobs, medical jobs. We've got cybersecurity jobs. So you, you name it, and we have it somewhere throughout the state of Illinois. Okay, and what are some of the benefits of being in the Guard? Uh, the benefits are outstanding at this point. You know, uh, some some of the jobs we offer, like some of the ones that I mentioned, offer up to twenty thousand dollars for uh, an enlistment bonus. But simply by serving in the National Guard, you know, in Illinois we get uh, the National Guard grant, which pays you know for their college tuition. So, you know, members of the National Guard can go to college tuition free, as well as making you know the Montgomery GI Bill. So a lot of people use the education benefits. But not everybody. Some people like to get uh, job skills out of it or just the, the pride and service to country. So uh, no matter what you're looking for, we can satisfy you know any need. Okay, and for someone who's looking, where can we find you again? NationalGuard.com or find the Illinois National Guard or Illinois National Guard Recruiting and Retention on uh, Facebook.